फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब कीजिए वाईफाई स्टडी चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट एग्जाम वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वाईफाई स्टडी चेंजिंग द वे ऑफ लर्निंग प्रेजेंट करंट अफेयर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन डिसंबर सेकंड वीक इन इंग्लिश सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर फ्रॉम द सेकंड वीक ऑफ द डिसंबर एंड ऑल दीज करंट अफेयर आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अपकमिंग एग्जाम एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंटरनेशनल सेक्शन After that, the national section, then trade and banking, economics, sports, everything we are going to cover in this video. And friends, if you like this video, please subscribe us so that we can provide you more videos, more content, more information for your upcoming exam. And friends, first of all, we are going to start from the international section. Let's see the first question. There are three statements, and you need to pick the correct one. First is, Watson and Agreement admits India as a 42 member of the organization. Okay, and second is aim of this organization is to regulate trade and use of dual-use technology, and the third one is India will get access to high technology, which will help address the demand of Indian space and defence sector. Okay, so friends, if we talk about the Watsonar Agreement, that previously I made a separate video about this Watsonar Agreement. Okay, so if you want to know more and complete information about this Watsonar Agreement, then you can watch that video. Okay, and if we talk about the current affairs section, then yes, India is the 42 member of this organization. This is the important one. Second one is also the correct one. Aim of this organization is to regulate trade and dual use technology. And what is this dual use technology, friends? Okay, whenever we say that it is a dual use, you can use this technology as a dual use. Then what is the meaning of it? Then you can use this technology for both the purposes, like for the military one also and for the civil one also. Okay, and third one is also the correct one. India will get high technology and which will going to help in Indian space and defense sector. Okay, and there are few points that you need to remember. Boston Agreement is a multilateral export country regime. With 42 participating states, including many former COMECON, that is Warsaw Pact countries, and it is established to con uh, contribute to regional and international security and stability. And friends, previously India also signed, okay, MTCR also, Missile Technology Control Regime also, and all the both these organizations, both these uh, agreements and the membership India got without signing of the NPT. And China is not the member of both these uh, agreements. Okay, this is the important thing that you need to remember. Now let's see another one. Human Rights Day is celebrated on which one of the following date? Another very important question, friends, because 10 December is observed as Human Rights Day. So your answer of this question is B. Okay. And United Nations General Assembly adopted a proclamation on 10 December 1948 as of the Universal Declaration of the Human Rights. And what is the theme of this day? Let's stand up for the equality, justice, and human dignity. This is a theme, and this is very important for you. And this date is also very important for you. Let's see another one. International Anti-Corruption Day is observed on. Okay, so International Anti-Corruption Day is observed on 9th of December. And if we talk about the theme, then what is the theme of this? United Against Corruption for Development, Peace, and Security. Okay, so it is observed annually on 9th of December since the passage of the United Nations Convention Against Corruption on in 2003. Okay, and there is a one uh, campaign also which was started by this organization that uh, your no counts, your no counts this is a campaign which is started by the united nations development program and the united nations office on drug and crime to mark international anti corruption day and to raise awareness about corruption and how to fight it okay so this is also a very important campaign and this question can be framed for you let's see another one there are four statement against let's see the which one is the correct one saudi arabia has lifted a decade long ban decade long ban on cinemas part of a series of social reforms by the powerful crown prince who is the powerful crown prince salman mohammed bin salman okay this is the correct one they lifted the ban from the cinemas second one is also the correct one there are two holy mosques first is makka and second one is madina okay al masjid al haram and al masjid al namawi okay third one is also the correct one saudi arabia has since became the world largest oil exporter and producer but fourth one is the not the correct one dinar is not the currency of saudi arabia okay rial rial is the currency of the saudi arabia and riyadh is the capital of the saudi arabia so both the things are very important for you capital and currency riyadh and rial let's see another one which one of the following mountain has named as a britain new highest peak okay and the answer of your this previous one is 1 to 3 so that is b is your answer Okay, and now recently what happened? Mount Hope named as UK highest peak. Okay, previously was Mount Jackson, which was a height of ten thousand four forty six feet, but currently they found a new highest peak of ten thousand and six two six feet. That is the Mount Hope. 
So your answer of this question is E first of all. Okay, and if we talk about the Europe highest peak and which is the highest peak of Europe, Mount Elbrus, which is in Russia. Okay, this is the highest peak of the Europe and the height of this one is nearby 18,510 feet. Okay, let's see another one. According to the Ligatum Prosperity Index 2017, what is the rank of India? So there is another improvement in the Indian conditions and India ranks 100 in the Global Prosperity Index. So your answer of this question is E. Okay, so that Ligatum is a Prosperity Index is an annual ranking developed by the Ligatum Institute and it is a private investment firm named Ligatum. And there are several factors, okay, they are considering for the prosperity, like they are considering the wealth, economic growth, education, health, personal well-being, quality of life, okay. And there are 149 countries, they ranked and Norway is, in, is on the first position. This is the important thing and second is the India's ranking, okay. And after the Norway, New Zealand and Finland is on the second and third position. In which country second UN World Tourism Organization and UNESCO World Conference on Tourism and Culture Organization? Another very important question because recently UN WTO and UNESCO jointly organized a Tourism and Culture Organization conference. Okay, and uh, which country okay host this conference? So your answer of this question is Oman. Okay. Muscat, the capital city of Oman, okay, uh, organized this event. And there are two important things also that we need to remember that is the UNWTO and UNESCO. If we talk about the friends UNWTO then this is the World Tourism Organization okay, which is the United Nations Agency responsible for the promotion of responsible, sustainable and universal accessible tourism. And where is the headquarter of the UNWTO? It is in Spain. It is in Spain, Madrid. And if we talk about the UNESCO headquarter, it is in Paris. Okay, both the things are very important for you and you, who is the head of the UNESCO? Erina Bokova, El, uh, Audrey, Azule, then Mastura, all these are the head of this organization and this organization was formed in 1945, okay, 72 years ago and uh, as I told you, headquarters is in Paris and the UNWTO headquarters is in Madrid. Now, let's see another one. Now, we are going to cover some national news. In which city PM Narendra Modi inaugurated the Dr. Ambedkar International Center? Another very important question because recently PM Narendra Modi inaugurated Ambedkar International Center and this center was opened in New Delhi. So your answer to this question is D. Okay. Then again there are three statements. The first international conference on sports medicine and sports science, SciCon 2017 was held in New Delhi. Okay. This is the correct one. There is the one. Uh, event named SciCon, which is held in New Delhi, inaugurated by the Rajavarda Singh Rathod, who is the Minister of State for Youth Affairs and Sports. This is also the correct one. And to empowering youth, Hello India program has been okay chalked out to tap talent at the school and college level. So this is also the correct one. So your answer to this question is D first of all. Okay, and if we talk about the Hello India program, friends. Okay, there are many different schemes which is collaborated in this Hello India program. Like there was a one Rajiv Gandhi Khela Bhiyan. Rajiv Gandhi Khel Abhiyan, which was merged in this Khelo, uh, Khelo India program and apart from it there is one another name like urban sports infrastructure scheme okay and there is another one like national talent okay search scheme so all these uh, schemes are merged into a single one okay named Khelo India and this is a uh, program which is based on the Gujarat government model of Khel Mahakum. Okay, in the Gujarat, they normally do 27 disciplines. In the 27 disciplines, they normally started a campaign to uh, promote the sports, to do different activities in the sports. Okay, and the sports authority of Gujarat also organized summer camp every year under this project. So, just because of that, they also made a same program named as Hello India program. Let's see another one. Which one of the following country will set up a center for excellence in floriculture at Thagli? in Krishnagiri district of Tamil Nadu. Another very important question. Okay, what is the floriculture friends? First of all, you need to understand this. If we talk about the floriculture, then it is a flower farming. Okay, from the flower farming, you can understand floriculture. It is a discipline of horticulture concerned with the cultivation of flowers, garden flowers, okay, different uh, bedding plants, house plants, flowering garden and pot plants, okay. And if we talk about the country which is collaborated with the India to start uh, this excellent center in Tamil Nadu is Israel. So your answer of this question is E. Okay, so Israel and India come together to set up a center for excellence in the floriculture at Krishnagiri district of Tamil Nadu. Okay, and the center is the first agro-technology development center to be set up with Israel assistance in the state. So let's see another one. There are again three statements. First of all is Global Partnership Summit. 
was held in New Delhi. This is the correct one. This is it was organized for the first time. This is also the correct one. And the focus will be on clean energy, infrastructure, energy, tourism, art and culture. This is also the correct one. So your answer to this question is D. First of all, okay. And so what is this ICF? That is India Center Foundation. It is an NGO friend which has been working for over two decades towards national socio-economic development. Will be going to organize. This first time this organization was developed the help in organizing this event, Global Partnership Summit. Let's see another one. In which city first military literature festival organized another very important question because for the first time military literature festival took off in Chandigarh. Okay, Chandigarh with the Punjab governor, who is the Punjab governor? VP Singh Badnor, formally declaring it open. And there are many military leaders, veterans, thinkers, scholars, writers, journalists which took part in this literature festival. Now let's see another one. There are four statements. You need to consider which one is the correct one. First of all is the, the international conference is being organized on the groundwater issue in India. This is the correct one. And the theme of this conference is groundwater vision 2030. Water security, challenge and climate change adaptation. This is also the correct one. Co conference is organized by the NIH. That is the National Institute of Hydrology and the Rufki and Central Groundwater Board. This is also the correct one. And the Sushri Uma Bharti is the Union Minister of Water Resource, Ganga Rejuvenation and River Development. Okay, so this is the wrong one because recently Nitin Gadkari became the Union Minister for Water Resource, Ganga Rejuvenation and River Development. So your answer of this question is 1, 2, 3. Okay, so A is your, is your answer. Let's see another one. Okay, who among the following launched a public procurement portal MSME Samvad? So if we talk about the MSME Samwad, then who will going to launch this MSME minister will be definitely going to launch it and who is the uh, MSME minister Shri Giriraj Singh. Okay, Shri Giriraj Singh is the minister of the independent charge for the MSMEs. So he launched this MSME Samwad, okay, which will going to monitor the implementation of the public procurement form MSE by the central public sector enterprises. So your answer of this question is, okay, D is your answer, Shri Giriraj Singh. Let's see another one. Which one of the following railway station has earned the unique distinction of being the first energy efficient AI category railway station on Indian railways? Another very important question. So recently what happened? There is one station which has achieved 100% energy efficiency by replacing nearby 1300 conventional light with the LED lightning. Apart from it, there are 370 ceiling fans also uh, placed with the energy efficient bushless DC electrical motor fans, 12 air conditioners with the energy efficient inverted type air conditioners. Okay, and the name of that railway station is Kachi Guda. Okay, Kachi Guda railway station is the historic building and had completed 100 years. And on that railway station, this unique distinction of being the first energy efficient A1 category okay, was recognized. So, your answer of this question is C. And where is this Kachi Guda? Okay. It is in Hyderabad city. Okay, it is a one of the three st central station in the Hyderabad city of the Telangana, and it is operated by the South Central Railway Zone of Indian Railways. Okay, let's see another one. India has been declared free from which one of the following diseases recently? Another very important question from recent because recently India declared free from the trachoma. Okay, it is a bacterial infection of eye. So your answer to this question is C. First of all, and if it and previously also there are three diseases which have been eliminated from India. Okay. Which, has, which have been eliminated from India, which are these? That is yawns, then leprosy, then there is one guinea worm disease. So, all, so these are the three diseases which was eliminated. And if we talk about the eradication, then smallpox is a disease which is eradicated across the world. Okay, eradication means complete extermination of the disease agent. And uh, there is the polio also, friends, which is now eliminated from the India. And uh, apart from it, there is a, as, as I told you, there are three diseases. Okay, yawns, material and the neurotic tetanus is also this uh, is in the list of eliminated disease. Okay, let's see another one. In which city Minister of State for Cultural Development, Dr. Sharma inaugurated the three days Bodhi Par Bimstek Festival of Buddhist Heritage. Another very important question because recently what happened, Mahesh Sharma inaugurated the Bodhi Par. Who is the Mahesh Sharma? He is the Minister for Culture. Okay, and Bodhi Parva. What is the name of full? Uh, what is the full form of this Bimstech friends? This is Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Corporation. Okay, so this is a Bimstech festival of Buddhist heritage because in the Bimstech countries there is a lot of Buddhist okay citizens, Buddhist people which is living there. So because of that, this organization, this event was organized named Buddhi Par Bodhi Par Bimstech Festival of Buddhist Heritage. Okay, and if we talk about the, this Bimstech friends, then as you know that there are seven countries. 
okay which is a member of this bimstek which is dependent on bay of bengal like india bhutan bangladesh myanmar nepal sri lanka thailand all these are the countries are the member of the bimstek and which is the secretariat secretariat of the bimstek is in dhaka okay let's see another one they are again their three statement first of all is new delhi will host an asian india connectivity summit on december 11 12 this is the correct one friends and the theme of this summit will be powering digital and physical linkages for asia in the 21st century this is also the correct one and this all these 10 asian leaders will be collectively will, uh, will be the chief guest at the next year republic day celebration this is also the correct one okay all these 10 asian leaders will be collectively at the uh, come at the chief as a chief guest in the republic day celebration okay so your answer this question is d first of all and uh, what happened india to host south east asia connectivity summit okay and uh, asia is a very asian is a very important organization friends and if we talk about the asian have where is the headquarter jakarta in jakarta there is a headquarter of this organization okay in jakarta and uh, if we talk about the members then there are different members of this organization friends okay nearby there are 10 members and two observers of this organization okay let's see another one which one of the following state unveils country's first mobile food testing lab so india's first mobile food testing laboratory will be uh, which will enable on the spot food safety test to be conducted in goa was launched by shri launched by cm manohar parikar okay so this mobile food testing lab is going to be started in goa and this is a very important step because there is a lot more malnutrition or okay in the food category friends so to check the hygiene level of the water and the food this van is implement uh, is put on the wheels and definitely this will going to be implemented soon in the different state also and who is the chief minister manohar parikar is the chief minister and who is the governor mridula sinha is the governor of this state let's see another one in which city un women in collaboration with facebook has inaugurated we the women event another very important questions because un women in collaboration with the facebook has inaugurated a two day event in mumbai titled we the who we the women to empower and to recognize the magnificent contribution of women in our society okay so your answer of this question is mumbai and what is this un women friend this un women what is and this full form of un women is basically united nations entity for global equality and the empowerment of women okay it is a united nations working arm of the, for the women it was started in 2011 and the first president of this organization uh, was chile michel bachelet president of chile that is a michel bachelet and who is the current right now that is milambo okay milambo is the current executive director of this organization okay now we are going to see another one who among the following inaugurated the nic cert a setup of national informatic center so recently what happened shri ravi shankar prasad honorable minister of law and justice and electronics and information technology inaugurated the nic cert a setup of national informatic center minister of information and technology so your answer of this question is okay shri ravi shankar prasad who is our information and technology minister and law and justice minister let's see another one with which organization india has proposed usd 1 billion line of credit to promote ca and road connectivity projects okay so as i told you friends recently from the past few years india has a policy of look east policy okay look east policy so in this policy india is going to collaborate with the different nations like asian nations bimstek nations and india will going to implement air and uh, rail and road connectivity to so to promote that india is going to propose 1 billion india proposed 1 billion dollar credit for connectivity with the asean okay and previously we discussed about the asean and uh, india is going to okay put sea air and road connectivity with the asean members look friends china is looking to the western side okay they are promoting connectivity to the western side and india is is a country which is promoting all these things to the eastern side okay this is the two two strategy by the two developing nations okay so there is a one policy named look east policy now we are going to see another one which one of the following state government announced that pilgrim coming to ganga sagar next year will be covered by the life insurance accounting to rupees 5 lakh each okay so recently there is a one state government which uh, covered a life insurance of 5 lakh rupees do, to those who will come to this pilgrimage place of ganga sagar so first of all you need to learn about this ganga sagar friends where the, where is this ganga sagar the another name of this ganga sagar is sagar island okay 
it is an island in the ganges delta okay lying on the continental shaft of the bay of bengal about nearby 100 km from the kolkata okay so this island is, comes under the south 24 pagna districts in the west bengal okay there is a one temple named kapil muni kapil muni temple okay so this is a very uh, large pilgrimage place for the hinduism and this scheme is launched by the west bengal okay so your answer of this question is west bengal and who is the chief minister mamta banerjee is the chief minister of west bengal let's see another one consider the following statement there are three statements that you need to consider okay first is the union health minister jp nadda has announced lakosha labor room quality improvement initiative this is the correct one the safety delivery mobile application for health workers who manage normal and complicated deliveries in the peripheral areas this is also correct one and the goal of this initiative is to reduce prevental maternal and newborn mortality okay this is also the correct one so your answer to this question is d okay so all these three statements are the correct one which among the following cities launched a drive to turn into bagger free city okay so there is a one city in our nation right now which is going to launch a program okay under the bagger free city campaign so earlier put to halt after there are some rumors that the drive was initiative because of the us president daughter okay donald trump daughter that is ivanka trump came to the city so because of that there were some rumors so so just because of that state government put a halt to that uh, initiative and right now they are again going to conduct this so hyderabad is a city friend which is going to launch a campaign okay to drive bagger free city okay so your answer of this question is b and if we talk about the bagging in india friends then this bagging is a criminalized in such in few cities like mumbai and delhi okay as per the bombay prevention of bagging act 1959 and under this law officials of the social welfare department assisted by the police conduct raids to put up baggers who they then try to special courts name bagger courts okay if convicted they are sent to the certified institutions called bagger homes okay so bagging is illegal in the mumbai and delhi right now and uh, there are, if we talk about the country with where this bagging is the mostly available or mostly done by the citizens then india is on the first place across the globe nearby 4 lakh baggers are available in india most of them in west bengal nearby 80000 baggers okay and lakshadweep has the mainly nearby 2 or 3 baggers so these are the few information that is important for you let's see another one in which city national energy conservation day celebration to be held on 14 december 2017 Okay so honorable president of india shri ramnath kovin will preside as the chief guest over the national energy conservation day celebration to be held in new delhi so your answer of this question is friends new delhi okay so friends let's see another question again there are three statements that you need to consider first is india will host the third annual meeting of the board of governors of aiib at mumbai this is the correct one india will be going to conduct okay this board of governors of aiib meeting at mumbai the theme of the annual meeting is mobilizing finance for infrastructure innovation and collaboration this is also correct one and aiib is a multilateral development bank headquartered in manila with a mission to improve social and economic outcome in asia and beyond this is the wrong one friends because the headquarter of the aiib is in is not in the manila friends okay this is the thing that you need to remember and the headquarter of this organization is beijing because this is a initiative of the this bank is a initiative of the china okay because of that the headquarter of this uh, aiib bank is in beijing okay so your answer of this question is 1 and 2 so a is your answer okay so these are the thing that you need to remember and and as you know that aiib b is a multilateral development bank that aims to support the building of infrastructure in the asia pacific region okay there are currently i guess 56 members i guess there are 56 members of this organization there are 24 prospective members also okay and uh, if we talk about the official language then english is the official language and who is the president of this organization jin likin jin likin is the president of this organization okay let's see another one a book talking financial inclusion in the liberated india conversation with the governors of the rbi was released during the inaugural session of the 14th inclusive finance india summit who is the author of this book so recently friends there is a one launch of a one new book which is named as talking financial inclusion in the liberated india okay and this book was written by ms shriram okay he is a professor and uh, he is the author of this book now let's see another one which one of the following state ut has become the first state in the country to offer free emails address in hindi okay so if you have a problem in the english language then there is a, there are some people which is not able to uh, make a email address in english so just to counter attack that 
uh, Rajasthan government became the first state in country to offer email IDs in Hindi. Okay, so your answer of this question is C. And who is the chief minister? Shrimati Vasundra Raja is the chief minister of the Rajasthan and Kalyan Singh is the governor of the Rajasthan. And this facility will lead to millions of new users who are not comfortable with the English email IDs. Okay. Let's see another one. Which one of the following India's first Scorpion class submarine will be commissioned into the Indian Navy in Mumbai? Another very important question friends because uh, if we talk about the submarine friends then submarine is basically classified into the two categories. First is the attack submarine. The second one is the ballistic missile submarine. On both of these are diesel powered or maybe nuclear powered. Okay, if we talk about the nuclear powered submarine then India has India has right now two nuclear powered submarines. One is Chakra and another one is the Arihant. And if we talk about the diesel powered, then nearby I guess there are 15 to 16 submarines which are diesel powered. Okay. And this Arihant is the indigenously made also, indigenously developed nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine. Okay. And recently India has introduced or commissioned a Kalwari class. Kalwari class submarine, which is a diesel electric attack submarine based on the Scorpion class submarine built. Uh, for the Indian Navy and the design of the submarine is done by the DCNS that is the it is a defense and energy company of the France and it is manufactured by the uh, Mazagaon Dock Limited in Mumbai. So your answer of this question is that is INS Kalwari. Okay this is recently commissioned into the Indian Navy in Mumbai. Now we are going to see some business questions. Who among the following will be head of a high level committee which has been set up by the government to address the problem of stressed assets in India power sector. Okay, so recently government has set up a high level committee headed by the Niti Aayog chief executive who is the Niti Aayog chief executive officer Abhitabh Kant to address the problem of stressed assets in India's power sector. So your answer of this question is Abhitabh Kant. Okay, A is your answer. Okay, he is a Niti Aayog CEO Abhitabh Kant who became a head of the high level committee okay, to address NPA in the power sector. There are a lot of non-performing assets in the power sector. So to counter attack that this committee is made and the head of this committee is Amitabh Kant. Let's say another one. Which one of the following global financial services organization has predicted that India growth to 7.5% in 2018? So friends, there are few important organizations, financial organizations that you need to learn their predicted growth rate for India in 2017, 18 and 19. So if we talk about the Morgan Stanley, okay, which is a leading global financial service firm providing investment banking, securities, wealth management, investment management services and the headquarter of this Morgan Stanley is in New York City and thereby nearby 40 to 45 offices across the globe, more than 60,000 employees and uh, this was founded by the JP Morgan okay and their co-partners like Henry Morgan, Harold Morgan, okay Harold Stanley okay this was this was started in 1960, 1935 okay and they forecast India's GDP growth rate to 7.5% in 2018. So your answer of this question is C. Okay, so according to the Morgan Stanley, India will grow by 7.5% in 2018. Okay, and 6.4% in 2017, 6.5% in 2018 and 6.7% in 2019. Let's see another one. Which one of the following institutions launched an SMS campaign and a missed call helpline to warn people against SMS frauders? So recently RBI launches campaign against SMS frauders as you know that there are different missed calls and there are different alluring calls which is conducted by some fraud companies to the customers for the for their IDs, for their PIN code, for their net banking password. Okay, to, so to counter attack that RBI recently launches a campaign named uh, campaign against the SMS frauders. Okay, so your answer of this question is RBI. So B is your answer. Okay, RBI is your answer. And as you know that RBI was started, was uh, commenced its operation on 1st April 1935 during the British rule according to the provinces of RBI Act 1934. And after the freedom, it was nationalized on 1st January 1949. Okay, and there are 21 board of directors of the RBI. Okay, there is one governor, there is one four deputy governors, there are two from the finance ministry representatives, there are 10 from the government nominated directors who belongs to the Indian economy. There are four directors to represent local boards like Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai. Okay. And so th these are the all combined into one form that is the 21, that is a board of directors. Okay. Which are 21 in number. Okay. Which is going to take all the important decisions of the RBI. 
now let's see another one what is rank of delhi cn ncr in the list of most expensive office location in the world so if we talk about the most expensive office location in the world the first place is on hong kong okay after that there is london tokyo and if we talk about the delhi ncr region then this place is on 84th position okay according to the un india economy will grow at which percent so indian economy will grow at 7.2% in 2018 and 7.4% in 2019 according to the united nations so your answer of this question is 7.2 a is your answer okay now let's see another one according to the global investment bank nomura what will be the economic growth in financial year 2018 so if we talk about the nomura global investment bank nomura okay which is uh, predict, uh, predicted india's growth to register 7.5% in 2018 okay so let's see another one there are again three statement rbi has imposed certain restriction on corporation bank this is the correct one and government owned bank said that the rbi has triggered prompt corrective action against it in the view of high non performing uh, loans and third one is uh, this may corporation bank eight bank to face restriction in a span of 10 month 10 month so all these three statement are the correct one and your answer of this question is d okay where is the headquarter of the corporation bank the headquarter of the corporation bank is mangalore okay and who is the ceo jay kumar is the ceo of this organization let's see another one with which bank india signed a loan agreement for the skill acquisition and knowledge awareness for livelihood promotion project okay so there is a one program named sankal project okay over which india signed a loan agreement with the another bank so what is the name of that bank world bank india signed agreement with the world bank for sankal project okay for the skill acquisition and the knowledge awareness for livelihood promotion project it was signed with the help of world bank and if we talk about the world bank as you know that it is consist of two organization ibrd and ida ibrd give loans to the middle income countries and ida loan give loan to the low income countries and if we talk about the world bank then jim yong kim is the head of this president of this organization okay world bank now let's see another one rbi has imposed a rupees 3 crore penalty on which bank for breaching rules on income classification norms okay so for breaching rules on income clarification norms rbi imposed a penalty of 3 crore to the indusind bank so your answer of this question is indusind okay and where is the headquarter the headquarter of this bank is in mumbai and who is the founder srichand p hinduja is the founder of this bank which one of the following bank has predicted india's gdp forecast for for 2018 to 6.7% so recently adb that is asian development bank has raised its economic growth estimate for developing asia to 6% okay from previous 5.9% and if we talk about the india they predicted 6.7% from the previous 7% so your answer of this question is asian development bank okay and if we talk about the adb it is a regional development bank established in 1966 headquartered in manila it is in philippines and the takai ko nakai is the president of this organization and there are 67 members of this organization now we are going to see appointments question who among the following has been appointed as the next ambassador of india to turkmenistan so your answer of this question is a h khan been appointed as the next ambassador of india to turkmenistan okay and what is the capital of turkmenistan as i told you in the today gk session that askabad is the capital of this country turkmenistan and present is the gungar bagli is the president of this country right now who among the following will be the face of a water conservation campaign which is an initiative by the central government so friends as you know that nawazuddin siddiqui who comes from an agriculture background will now be the face of a water conservation campaign launched by the central government so your answer to this question is d nawazuddin siddiqui new rbi executive director so uma shankar appointed as a RBI executive director so your answer of this question is e uma shankar next ambassador of india to the state of kuwait so jiva sagar okay b is your answer jiva sagar is appointed as uh, as ambassador of india to kuwait now we are going to see some awards question best action film at the 7th australian academy of cinema and television arts award okay this award was given to amir khan dangal movie so your answer of this question is b and this is the highest gross earning movie of the india also okay nearby the collection of this movie is 2000 crore and this is on the first position okay if we talk about the highest business done by any movie from india 
which one of the following mela has been recognized by unesco as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity another very important question friends and your answer of this question is kumbh mela unesco recognize kumbh mela as a india's cultural heritage okay as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity okay and as you know that kumbh mela is going to conducted in ilahabad haridwar ujjain and nasik and friends at any given place the kumbh mela is held once in 12 years there is a difference of friends 3 year between the kumbh mela at the haridwar and ilahabad and there is a difference of nearby 1 or less than 1 year difference between the ujjain and nasik okay so previously it was held in 2016 and right now this will going to be conducted in 2000 again this will be going to conduct in 2022 in the haridwar and after that 2025 in the ilahabad okay so these are the few things that you need to remember from the kumbh mela let's see another one vyas samman 2017 another very important question who got vyas samman 2017 so as you know that it is a literacy literary award in india uh, first awarded in 1991 okay awarded award given by the kk billa foundation and with a cash prize of nearby uh, 3.50 lakh okay and this year 2017 this award was given to mamta kalia so your answer of this question is a He, she is a eminent hindi writer mamta kalia will be honored with the this avas samman 2017 for his book sukham okay so your answer of this question is a let's see another one football player which football player got the ballon d or the for the fifth time another achievement for the cristiano ronaldo because he wins fifth ballon d award okay and uh, after winning this award he is now level with the leon messi on five ballon d or wins each so your answer of this question is b cristiano ronaldo is uh, he played from the real madrid portugal okay so let's see another one which one of the following indian city has been recognized by the united nations environment program as one of the five model across the world for fighting the pollution menace okay this is also very important question friends because recently for their zero waste management system which is implemented in the kerala coastal region of alpuzha okay has been recognized by the unep as five model across the world for fighting the pollution menace so your answer of this question is alpuzha okay and who is the cm pinarayi vijayanan is the cm of the kerala and satha sivam is the governor of the kerala right now and alpuzha is also known as the venice of the east friends who among the following actor honored at the 14th dubai international film festival for his incredible body of work so this is a very easy question and your answer of this question is irfan khan irfan khan got this award okay at the dubai international film festival for his commendable work first finest education minister award given by the former president pranab mukherjee so your answer of this question is manish sisodia so okay he is a delhi education minister who got this award as a finest minister education minister because of its various implementation in the government schools okay various new initiative launched for the students he got the finest education minister award by the former president of india that is shri uh, pranab mukherjee let's see another one who among the following awarded with the year r ingnam award by m venkai naidu so friends recently ms swaminathan has been given this award who is a father of the indian father of the green revolution okay if we talk about the father green father of the green revolution of the world then norman borlog is your answer and if we talk about the indian father of the green revolution then your answer will be ms swami nathan who got this award which one of the following indian film has backed the best short film award at the vancouver golden panda international film festival okay so the best short film award was given to indian short film that is the school bag which is directed by the dhiraj jindal okay Mother Teresa Memorial Award for Social Justice was given to Priyanka Chopra. Okay, Priyanka Chopra received this award for her contribution towards leading her support to the social cause, such as her recent visit to Syria, where she met and interacted with the refugee children. And she is also a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador and known for her supporting various philanthropist activities. Who among the following has been facilitated with the power of one award at the UN headquarters in the New York for her contribution to help? form a more perfect peaceful and secure world so friends from the six top diplomats including an indian woman lakshmi puri have been felicitated with the inaugural diwali power of one award at the un headquarters in new york so your answer of this question is lakshmi puri now we are going to uh, do some sports question which one of the following country will host the senior women world boxing championship in 2018 and senior men world boxing championship in 2022 okay another very important question so your answer of this question is india india will going to conduct 
वर्ल्ड बॉक्सिंग चैंपियनशिप ऑफ मैन फीमेल कैटेगरी इन 2018 एंड मैन कैटेगरी ऑफ वर्ल्ड बॉक्सिंग चैंपियनशिप इन 2021 रिसेंटली इंडिया कंडक्टेड अ यूथ वर्ल्ड बॉक्सिंग चैंपियनशिप ओके एंड वुमेन यूथ बॉक्सिंग चैंपियनशिप इन विच इंडिया टॉप द रैंकिंग लिस्ट बाय विनिंग फोर गोल्ड मेडल टू ब्रॉन्ज मेडल देयर ओके एंड नेक्स्ट इन 2018 एंड 2021 दिस इवेंट वाज गोइंग टू होल्ड इन इंडिया वर्ल्ड हॉकी लीग चैंपियन ओके सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द थ्री प्लेसेस इन द वर्ल्ड हॉकी लीग चैंपियन ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज ऑन फर्स्ट पोजीशन अर्जेंटीना इज ऑन सेकंड पोजीशन एंड इंडिया वॉन द ब्रॉन्ज मेडल बाय डिफीटिंग जर्मनी सो योर आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज जर्मनी ओके इंडिया विन द ब्रॉन्ज मेडल एट द हॉकी वर्ल्ड लीग फाइनल टू डिफीट जर्मनी बाय टू वन Which one of the following, following city will host the inaugural India Open International Boxing Tournament for senior men and women from January 2000 uh, in January 2018? So, for instance, Delhi to host India Open Boxing Tournament. So, your answer of this question is Delhi. D is your answer. And recently, I told you about that Australia wins men's hockey world league title. So, your answer of this question is A. And let's see some death question. Who among the following is known? as father of dna fingerprinting so recently there is a big loss for india because dna scientist and former bhu vc professor lalji singh passed away okay he is considered as a father of dna fingerprinting who worked in the area of molecular basis of sex determination wildlife conservation forensics evolution and migration movements okay so recently he passed away so your answer of this question is lalji singh okay he is known as the father of dna fingerprinting so friends these are the important question from the second week of the december and hope you like this video and you will definitely going to subscribe us so friends thank you and all the best